here we are at the Thousand Trails that we can't get into because they're blocking the road. You have arrived Holy at your crap. destination on the left side, zero, five, zero, one, zero, as Jetty Road. Check in register, the right lane. Boy, that's going to piss a lot of people off behind us. There's not much I can do. I can't just go through. No. Those guys got to zip on past us. Well, I guess I don't have to continue to record this. this Good morning, guys. I thought I'd show you our campsite at South Jetty Thousand Trails. After the mess of trying to come in, we started looking uh, at the map, and the lady at the front said, Oh, hey, we've got a site for you. And to try this area over here, as you can see, it's a pretty small area. Picnic table, fire ring. Nothing really too fancy. Until you come around to this side and realize we have sewer. First park since Las Vegas. And we have sewer. Of course, we already did all the laundry, so... Yeah. As you can see, we are right at the back of the site. The site barely holds us, but it holds us. So far we've really liked this campsite. Um, the whole place is very crowded, um, but the sites are kind of interesting. The sewer sites where we are is, are a little close, but if you go over to the ones that don't have sewer, they're pretty spaced out, um, pretty private with all the underbrush and stuff around them. But the feel of the park has been really nice, really great. South Jetty Thousand Trails is only a couple of miles away from the Oregon Dunes. Really cool place. And did I mention that it's only 63 degrees for a high today? It's almost August. 63. Beautiful. I am on a mission. That is the Super Buggy. Still on a mission. Mission complete. Well, I got the lugs off, got the tires off. So far what I'm seeing is that the front pad is fine. It seems to be the back pad. So I'm fixing to get in there with a flashlight and see what I can see. Well, there's your problem. It definitely threw a shoe off of the thing because we still got just under a quarter inch. I'm guessing it was time for replacing anyway, but the brakes were supposed to be new when I bought it. So, yeah. It's okay. held on by two bolts, one on this side, one on the other side. And then the bottom of the caliper will swing out from here, and you pull the whole caliper off. Put in the new brake shoes, compress the cylinders, put the caliper back on, swing it into place, bolt it together, you're done. Sounds easy, huh? Seriously, guys, thank God I brought this seat clamp with me. Because I don't know how else you would get these uh, pistons back in. I can only do them one at a time, but with the C-clamp, it's a heck of a lot easier than trying to push the thing in with your hands. Two hours later, all back together. After looking at the other three wheels, the rear passenger side is going to have to be done. It doesn't have to be done right now. Um, Evidently, the front are brand new, so maybe that's what the guy was talking about when he sold it to me. Front are new. Not the back. We left South Jetty RV Park and came up here to the Oregon Dunes. It's an OHV park. It's got beach. It's got a lot of sand dunes. <laughs> Very neat place to come. is the Oregon Sand Dunes. Very popular with the four-wheelers. Surfing with kites. The Pacific Coast, Oregon. There is a bunch of people out here with these kites and surfing. Really enjoyed today. 
We just got back from Safeway and they have a deli there that is awesome. So for $9.99 we got all this Asian food. We've come out to the Sea Lion Caves. Wow, look at that coastline. Heading down to the lookout, see if we can see some sea lions. Way down there is the sea lions. How cool is that? I'll have to zoom in. Alright, the sea lions are not disappointing. They are very loud. There's one in the surf trying to get up on that rock. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, look at him drop up. You see him jump? Uh-huh. Oh, that is so cool. So we have an elevator that's going to take us down. So the elevator takes you down into the cave. <laughs> nice walkway. leave that viewing area. There is a bunch of stairs. And this is at the top. The lighthouse over on that far side. Public entrance. That's the lighthouse over on the far side. Final thoughts on the sea lion caves. It is $14 a head to get in. It's worth the money. You get to go see the sea lions, you get to go see the cave, they have a gift shop up top, parking is free, they even have RV parking. We left the sea lion caves and we are heading north, look at this, there's a tunnel, towards a lighthouse, just to see what's what. Sorry about the windshield, it's dirty again. State Park. We just kind of pulled in here and it says that there is a dump station here. I don't see it yet. So right like, there. I'll be damned. Look at this. In the water. A free dump station. There's no paying, no nothing. Wow, that is so cool. So nice of them. Plenty of parking here. RV parking, regular parking, bathrooms. Beach, coastline, what more could you want? Maybe less wind. Good information. All right, in Florida, you got those sneaky damn gators. Here, you have these sneaky waves. Sneaker waves. This is the trail at Washburn State Park. <laughs> Look at this coastline.
Look at those waves. Donna just got hit by a sneaky wave. Came up and got her pants wet. <laughs> this drive on 101 North is really nice. I'm not looking forward to having the RV out here, but 